Hello, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can easily get Windows Admin Center installed on Windows Server 2025. By doing this I'm going to be showing you the new Windows Admin Center setup experience which will be pre-installed as part of the operating system. To get started I'm going to click on next. Now it's going to make sure that my OS is supported, my network and files are set up correctly, I've got enough space and it's now going to download the latest version in one go without me needing to find it or download it myself. I'm going to confirm this prompt because I'm not on the built-in admin account, I'm on my domain admin user and now it's going to tell me, you know, now it's going to take me to the installer. I'm going to read and I do accept the license agreement. Yep, I want to install it. Now it's going to do another prerequisite check. This is actually in the installer itself because we've downloaded the installer. Yep, I am going to set it up as Express Local Setup in this environment. Install updates automatically. Send required and optional diagnostic data, or you can do it whatever. But I always do recommended and optional. Now, do I want to create a desktop shortcut? Yeah, that's fine. Now it's just going to tell me what it's doing. I'm not going to go and install it. Now we're going to prepare the installation off. While we do that, while it goes ahead and does this, I'm just going to talk a bit more about Windows Admin Center. Windows Admin Center is the best way to manage your Windows Server environment because you can do it from any device whether it's a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 desktop or if you're setting up a gateway for multiple machines to connect up to in your corporate environment or installing it on one server in a lab like what I'm doing here it's designed to let you manage your Windows servers, your clusters, your Windows clients Windows Admin Center is really the best way to manage Windows Server and clusters and, all, and also as a stack HCI in fact, like to get a good like remote management GUI for for Azure Stack HCI, Windows Admin Center is the way forward. This experience is now now we're nearly done installing Admin Center. This experience will be available for all Windows Server 2025 desktop experience, standard and data center SKUs. I am on the RTM release of Server 2025. This feature will be released in a cumulative update coming very soon. Looks like the setup's almost done, it's just got some last minute configuration it needs to do. There we go, it's now thinking about it. We're now installing, so that's all good. And it's also put an icon on my desktop for me. It's just installing the V2 preview because this is the version of Admin Center it's going to install. There we go, I can now set finish and it's now going to take me to my web browser. In just a moment, I've not actually opened the browser yet on this machine, so it needs to initialize everything in the browser. There we go. It is important to note the Admin Center setup will remain even when you run it. However you can manually remove the icon if you don't want it there. By unpinning it or even going into the start menu folder and removing it. But I'm just going to keep it on my machine for now. Now I'm going to show you another quick change of line server 25. You'll notice if I search for, for get started in this build, it's no longer there. Again, this is in it, in an upcoming update as well. You know, I'm gonna open it manually, see what's going on. So I might have to get a side of life. There we go. No, thank you, Mike. So that I don't want to sign in right now. There we go, now it's going to ask me to sign in. I'm going to use my domain creds, my admin creds for my domain account. Wait, 
Whoops. I thought something as the inbuilt server administrator. See if that works. There we go. Sorry about that. It just refused my credentials, so I'm going to have to manage this as my domain admin. But here we go. This is the new Windows Admin Center preview installed seamlessly from Windows itself. No need to have to manually download it anymore. There we go. Now it's just going to do an inventory of my server. But yeah, as you can see, Windows Admin Center. Just ignore the fact it's version 2.6.1.20. That's because I've installed the enablement package for the Insider Dev channel manually on this VM I'm demoing on. Again, I know I've only got 2 gig of memory. This is not a production server in no means of the imagination. All this literally is, is just a lab environment for testing some insider stuff. So I don't really need a lot of resources. So I can now go to any experience in Windows Admin Center, whether it's my update history, whether I want to go into a remote desktop session, which I'm not going to do because that's going to break my recording, user and group management for the local server, and many other scenarios that are part of Windows are now in Admin Center and I can now use them. I can even browse through file sets on my server and files. I can browse through my local folders, all my file sets. Up here, I can go to file sets. I can manage my installed apps. Anyway, this will wrap up my Windows Admin Center, Windows Server 2025 setup demo. I hope you enjoyed the video. And there is a lot more coming in this series. This series is going to be me sewing off Windows Server 2025's awesome new experiences. This is just the first of a few episodes where I'm going to be talking about like admin center integration, flighting, feedback hub on server, a more modern desktop. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day and thanks for watching.